In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to calculate the magnitude and direction of the resultant of two perpendicular forces. Suppose we have got two forces, F1 equals to 25 newtons and F2 equals to 30 newtons acting on an object or a block as shown below. Let's say this is F2 equals to 30 newtons and this is F1 equals to 25 newtons. Now we need to calculate the magnitude and direction of the resultant force acting on the block. The two forces can be shown on the Cartesian plane as below. Here's the Cartesian plane. I've already drawn in the two forces on the Cartesian plane. This is the 30 Newton force and this is the 25 Newton force. The two forces are drawn on the Cartesian plane from the origin, this point here. This dot represents the object. So the forces are acting on the object and perpendicular to each other. Our next step is going to be to complete the parallelogram. And to do that, we're going to draw a line that is parallel to the x-axis. And we draw a line at the tip of this 25 Newton force. Again, we draw another line that is parallel to the y-axis. And we draw our line at the tip of the 30 Newton force. Now we note that these two lines meet here. Now I can draw in the same 30 Newton force vector here. Now this is 30 Newtons. And if I draw a vector up here, this is 25 Newtons. Now this gives me a parallelogram. Now the next step is to indicate the direction of the resultant force. The resultant force is drawn from the origin as the other two forces. And it's the diagonal of this shape here, the parallelogram. So this is the resultant force. I can name it Fs. Now we note that this is giving us a right angle triangle because this angle here between these two lines is 90 degrees. So how can we calculate the magnitude of the resultant force? It's easy. What we do, we apply the theorem of Pythagoras. Therefore, F rest squared is equal to 30 squared plus 25 squared. To get the magnitude of FRS, we need to take the square root on both sides of the equation. FRS is the square root of 30 squared plus 25 squared. To get the magnitude, I'm going to pull out my calculator here and punch in the numbers. So this is the square root, I think I pressed it twice, it's the square root of 30 squared plus 25 squared sorry not 125 here it's supposed to be 25 squared equals to this is 39 is it equal to 39 comma 0 05 so this is 39 comma 0 05 newtons now note that at this point I do not know the direction. Now we need to work it out. Now, the direction of FRS, this one here, is not to the right and it's not up. It's not to the left or down, but it's acting at an angle theta here. So I can show the angle theta there. So now I'm going to need to calculate the magnitude of theta so that I can quote the direction of the resultant force FRS. To calculate theta, we refer to this triangle here. Right? This is where I put theta, this triangle. Okay? So, because two sides are given, we're going to apply a trick ratio, we apply trigonometry, and then use a trick ratio to calculate the magnitude of theta. Okay, 
So if we look at the, our triangle, we can see that this side here is opposite theta. And this one, the theta newton, is adjacent to the angle. Opposite and adjacent, that is tangent. So tangent of theta is equal to uh, 25 divided by 30. Now to get the magnitude of theta, it is going to be a inverse, 10 inverse 25 over 30. Now I can pull out my calculator and calculate the size of the angle. It is going to be a second function, 25 divided by 30 okay and equals to and this is 39 comma 80 39 comma 80 degrees now I could say the magnitude of the resultant force is equals to 39 comma 05 newtons 39,80 degrees above the x axis. Another way I could quote the direction, I could say FRS is equal to 39,05 newtons. Let me write all here. 39,05. Is zero degrees north of east, right? So if we we say this is east and this is north, this is west and this is south. This line here or this vector F is thirty nine comma eight zero degrees north of east. Or not from east. So this is just another way of quoting the direction of a, a vector here. Another one is to use what is called bearing. Bearing is when we measure angles from the north clockwise. So if we do that we are looking at this angle here measured from the north to our resultant force. So if this is 39,80, the magnitude of this angle, let's call it alpha, is going to be 90 degrees minus 39, uh, sorry, 39 uh, minus 39, Eight zero. Seems like as if there is a problem with my mouse. I'm double clicking. This is equal to fifty comma two. Right. So this is fifty comma two degrees. Now I can quote that angle on bearing and say the magnitude of the resultant force is equal to uh, what was the magnitude? 39,05. This is 39,05 newtons. Right, 50,2 degrees on bearing. Right, this takes us to the end of our lesson. See you next time. Thank you for watching.